Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for the collective for whoever, whenever, wherever. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Um, you know, usually I run my hand around the healing forks and the one that warms my palm is the one that I choose for the day, but today I went straight after the 174. The 174 um, gets all our systems realigned, right? It helps all of the different systems within our system communicate with each other and um, I really feel like we need this right now. I need this right now. So let's just take a deep breath and begin. been an interesting couple days with the full moon and the solstice and all the other things that have been going on and uh i've had a lot of um it, it's weird it's been like i been like in this introspective place and then when i come out of this space there's like all these people there you know um people calling people visiting and it's just you know um it's almost like this this whole new self right i don't know if you guys are feeling this way but since the solstice just a couple days ago since that full moon it's almost like this reawakening right um i fell asleep yesterday at 6 30 in the afternoon or evening and i woke up at five this morning like just zonked and needed it and i feel so much better since then and um i, I uh wanted to share with you guys um I don't know a friend of mine keeps sending me songs by this chick Ayla Nero and I absolutely love her I used to listen to her a um, little story time I'll, I'll uh, time stamp the reading but I used to listen to her a lot when I was working in the gardens for years and years and years I worked in uh, gardens lots of different kinds and um, sometimes they were indoor gardens and when you're in the indoor gardens um, a lot of times you're working completely within a canopy and you have to keep yourself covered so that you're not um, exposing your own surfaces to the surfaces of the plants and um, I used to put a Nero on um, and just get lost right like you're in this green space you're surrounded by um, growth and listening to this very almost like uh I really like sensible tribal music right and uh, I hadn't listened to her in a very long time and a friend keeps sending me these songs and I'm like wow this is I've I've been missing this I've been needing this I've been feeling very out of tune right with any kind of music lately and um simultaneously right a friend of mine is sending me uh, he's in California at the place where we met right and um he's a he's a deep soul tribe love love of a friend right and so he's sending me pictures of the place where we met and he's sending me pictures of this house that we all used to live in and um, all of these things and it's bringing me back all of these these places and I wrote a poem uh, back in the day about a friend of mine named Ayla, right? And um, it kind of ties together all of these things in my mind and I want to share it with you and I also want... I, 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 I feel like I need to say that if there are things that you are working on, whether it be poetry, paintings, um, art projects, music, whatever creative thing, videos, right? Whatever creative thing that you um, dive down into and touch your soul and bring pieces of your spirit out to share with others, uh, please share those with us. Please keep going. Figure out um, how those things connect to one another over time um, because it'll really bring, it, it, it kind of lets you know that just like the web of weird here, everything is connected. Everything that we've done in the past is connected to something that's going on now and everything that we do now is um, related to something that's going to happen in the future and sometimes seemingly unrelated things like uh, Ayla Nero, the songs of Ayla Nero, and my friend being in California and reminding me um, of why I retired from the gardens, I'll, like a lot, a lot of things. Um, so I'm going to share this poem with you and then we'll get on with the reading 444, right? It's called Sister Ayla. Um, the beat between beats, the swing in Mr. Marley's accompaniment brings remnants of your voice, and I wonder how you are. Leafing through boxes of fall, purple, yellow, and green, 
sticking to my fingers the way it sticks to my memory, tap, tap, tapping my feet in the cold. Ink will never do in this mountain snow, too dark and viscous. I am writing to you in all the colors of California. I am writing to you in all the colors of light passing through trees and wishing you well back home with your giants. I still have that hat you made me. It's warmth like nights spent dancing endlessly to rhythms of uh, rich hearts and empty pocketbooks, giving all that doesn't matter to the floor beneath me, as free as I've ever known freedom. I miss the intoxicating rhythm of your soulfulness. I am lost in the sounds of my radio to the voice of a spirit who went west to sing songs to the ocean, to sing songs to redwood trees. That was a person who followed their heart, and I miss them terribly, but sometimes we get these remnants that bring us back to those places, right? And it's, um, it's important to realign, realign with yourself. And then my, my friend is messaging me right now. See, it's all connected. Everything is fine. Everything is wonderful. Look at that. Looking out into the ocean, right? Looking out into the vast expanses. What is coming next? What are we waiting for? You know, what uh, if, if he's waiting for the ships to arrive, that means he knows they're coming in, right? It is expected. I heard it as expected. And then as I picked it up, the um, page of wands is here on the bottom right with this fish jumping out of the cup it's like we can no longer be contained in the environment or confines in which we are in we need the whole ocean right it could be um, a big fish in a small pond or we can be the our size the size we're supposed to be in the great vast ocean and being exploring don't be afraid of that and we have another three it's three of pentacles in the reverse Mm, maybe there's um we're waiting for a message and a heartfelt message to come in so that we can complete our work knight of knight of swords here it comes the lover's card here it comes ace of pentacles i absolutely love this two um on the bottom we have the high priestess right and we talk about the high priestess is the knower the knower of things see there's this uh this is J jaken and uh jason jackin however someone says it right and boaz and they are the temples of solomon they are the temple um, pillars that hold it up the light and the dark the yin and the yang the knowing and the unknowing and she knows them all here is the answers here is the book right and she has um it, it she's the keeper of the gate as we wait for our ships to come in examining our intuition examining what we um know to be true examining who and what um, the messages are talking about here they come here they come riding in, right? The information coming in quickly. Everything that we need to know is like, here's your ride on your way. And that message, um, that sent sentimental message, it could be an apology. It could just be a, hey, hello. It could be a, hey, I kind of like it. Hey, I like your work. Hey, I like what's going on here, right? It definitely comes from the heart and it allows um, a choice to be made if, for partnering. You know, what, what what are we going to partner with? What way are we going to go? And it could be that this this uh, stagnant space where our work is stuck as we're waiting for those ships to come in, this uh, new um, offer is more than just a sentimental offer. What it, what it does is it offers us something of value something small of value that helps us go through that gate right walk through and and establish ourselves right and i say like a new new space but taking the know-how and the lessons and what we like that it's like that shifts to come in like you applied for a job and now um you, your your work thus far is a credit to you that allows you to be hired. This is just an example. It's not for everyone. Take it as it resonates. But um, when you get there, you have a whole bunch of new stuff that you need to learn, right? And it's allowing that. It's saying you, you know, what you know so far, how you have, how you have established yourself, where you have decided to go. The messages are saying that um, you are well on your way. And that, um, to say, like, leave that old work behind, but there's new things for you to learn before you can reestablish yourself in this new sense again. Wow, that's a lot. This is the one that wanted to come out. Look at Knight of Swords again. Knight of Swords is out twice. What is clarifying the Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands? It's the Knight of Swords. That's uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. 
Now, that doesn't mean it has to be coming from an air sign, but it means that it's the air qualities, right? It's informational. It's communicative. It's communicable. This person is moving very, very, very quickly. They might have all the information, but they don't have all the context. That's kind of like that AI thing, right? That, that uh, meta AI thing where it can give you the information, but it has no way to associate a context. So some of the information um, is is incorrect and complete, right? That's what you have to search for here with this. This is moving very, very quickly. There's a lot of communication, but what is the context, right? What is what is it talking about? And in what regard? I'm hearing in what regard? Can we have one for this um, page of cups and the lover's card? The Hierophant in the reverse, right? This is, um, this is the commitment card, the tradition card right? And um, when he's in the reverse, it's kind of like going against the grain and it's a, it's kind of non-committal, right? Which is probably also in relation to this three of pentacles in the reverse, right? There's a choice to be made to partner with something, but is the offer big enough? Does it really understand, I mean, this page energy, does it really understand the implications of its actions? Does it really want anything more than um, the little bit that it's offering you. We talked about being the small or the big fish in the small cup and having to expand ourselves onto our horizons, get out there in the water, get out there in the world, explore things, right? Um, there's this idea of maybe a going against that the confines of the cup and exploring, I'm going to say like exploring elsewhere. When you get the lovers in the, um, in the upright, with the uh, Hierophant in the reverse, it's like we're still in this space, 1144, of learning whether or not it's something that we want to commit to. You know, maybe it feels a certain way about us. Maybe we feel a certain way about it or them. You know, take it as it resonates. But there's still that that idea that um, we don't have enough, enough expertise to... Um, recognize it as a substantial thing that's going to last for a long time so what's this uh, ace of pentacles about then right what is the, what can we expect from this and remember it's just for today the sun as i say that just remember it's just for today so in the future there could be more there will be of course there will be more because everything is connected right um but what it's doing is it's shining a light see how she's that kind of like aiming that light down on this like hey take a look at that maybe we're um, not seeing the potential that's available and it could be because we've been hurt before in the past or we have the ten of swords in the reverse on the bottom today is not the same as yesterday you are not the same as you were we know better now in a lot of sense and a lot of reason we we've established things and we know i think what it is is that you get that hubris right maybe um, a bit of the dunning kruger we all go through it where we uh, previously learned some things and we thought we knew about them so we we started to carry on and then we realized that there was a lot of things that we didn't understand right and that's the next step of knowledge right that getting out of that hubris stage what is this one that just fell down much indecision man holding a heart in the reverse right because is this a big enough offer are we too big for that cup you know, which way are we going to go? And again, like all the twos are related to the high priestess here. And maybe that could be why the Knight of Swords has come out twice to emphasize the need to use your mental faculties, right? Really get a context to better understand what this what this is, because this small offer, you know, is it some is it something that's practical that makes sense? And maybe your heart's just not in it. Maybe you don't have an emotional tie to it. Maybe it's not big enough. No contract. Right. And the angel of love on the bottom in the reverse. Mm. Fourth angel, fourth chakra, um, Raphael, there's a lot, you know what, it could be that there's hesitance to this or wanting to move away from something because we're um, not getting the emotional fulfillment, right? The Hierophant in reverse. We're starting to see that that little offer is just a little offer, right? And maybe that isn't the kind of thing that we want to put our whole selves into. So it's shining the light on the size of the thing, community in the reverse here, right? Are we waiting for something bigger, better to come in? I kind of want to get a little bit more on this. What should we do then? What should we focus on? You know, here like going back to the poem, like people that we've met in the past that have, we've all gone our separate ways, right? But that doesn't mean that we don't still care about them. But 
Three of Wands is like, we're ready to go our separate ways. Cornucopia in the upright, envy in the reverse and attachment, right? So that we're understanding that, um, see, and it winds up being because it's in the reverse. Look at how the colors worked out on that. The cornucopia is in the letting go of the of the envy, whether that be our envy of others or others who are envious of us, right? The attachment to that um, negative being, that negative self, that mask that is worn, that is like not truly the thing. It's like we're this person here, and say we, but this person here, whether it be us or someone else, is really idealizing this fake thing. And in, in turn, not paying attention to the fact that other things are keeping them bound, right? This attachment to this. And if we let go of that attachment and we let go of that envy, there's this ability to walk out into the cornucopia, into the warmth of the sunshine, the sun that is here, right? If someone's heart's not in it or if they're attaching themselves to us out of envy, out of wanting to like ride the coattails of, of someone else, right? Of the potential of what could be but isn't quite yet, right? Right? There's a there's there's definitely this need to um, re-examine in which way you're going, right? Yin and yang in the reverse here. I don't know. It's really calling for us to use our introspect to use our intuition and introspection. I just keep looking at that. Like you're sitting, you are the gatekeeper, right? and underneath that is the Ace of Wands. You are the gatekeeper. So it's not just about which way you're going and what gate you're going to walk through, but it's also about what you're going to or who you're going to allow to walk through your gates, right? Because you want to establish something that's um, successful and long-lasting. You have a choice here. Lover's card is a choice. Have courage. Again, with that sun card, Leo energy, you know, being confident, being full of um, like a like a graceful pride, right? Not an arrogance, knowing um, what your worth and value is right? Love that you are different. Love that you are different. Love that you know who you are and that you are not going to settle, that you're going to continue to work for what, what values you in the way that you value you. And nobody, you, people are always going to value you at the value that you give. So if, if you don't think very much of yourself, then the people around you aren't going to value you it very much either right and that's just this progression we have to build that up within ourselves we have to establish that within ourselves and then put up that boundary that gate to just not allow just anybody in not allow just anything in right you are a unique beautiful individual and you just don't want to um walk into places where the contracts are iffy right respect as i say that respect your boundaries respect your boundaries I heard all or nothing. Take that as it resonates. See the truth. Embrace spirit. What is this one coming out? Show that you care. Show that you care. Interesting. Sometimes we show that we care by putting up boundaries and saying, you know, I value myself, my place, and my journey enough to... Um, not just let any old thing walk through those gates because I'm working on what is worth it to me, right? And just keep going, you know, um, that Ayla Nero song, like, Hollow Bones is I release, I release, you know, I release and just let all of that go. And then there becomes space for the new and we're filled with the warmth, I heard the warmth of desire. It doesn't have to be carnal. It's like whatever uh, fills your spirit with inspiration. <sighs> I got the Kuan Yin. Mm, spirit, Kuan Yin, what is this one? Mm. Here, the yellow tiger mother. Very good. Very, very, very good on the bottom. It's the tortoise, tortoise lotus mother. A lot of that mothering instinct, right? A lot of that nurturing feeling. Like, is this, if it's, is that good enough for your kid? If it isn't good enough for your kid, then it's not good enough for you, right? If it's not good enough for the family, it's not good enough for where you're moving towards. What is good enough? 
How are you going to establish those things? Are you going to continue to wait until the correct ship comes in? Are you going to partner with this thing? Are you going to look at what it, what the offer really is? It's shining light on this. You can take that little bit, that Ace of Pentacles that's being offered, but keep in mind, keep in mind that the Hierophant is in reverse and that there's the potential that it's just a small offer, right? So how much are you going to commit yourself to it? Keep keep it keep keep an open mind here today. I just saw 2010. All right. The yellow um the yellow tiger mother is number 13. Wow. Sometimes we must be strong and hold true whilst all around us seems to be shifting and changing. The yellow tiger mother, Quan Yin, in her guardian role, is roaring her divine sound within you. She asks you to hear her, to remember that you are a powerful being of light, and even whilst you are in the flow of universal forces, your strong roots help you to be at peace with your truth, standing your ground whilst your light shines true. In our surrender to divine forces, there are times when we must be flexible and flow. And then there are times when the surrender is into holding strong and being true to our inner knowing. There are inner truths that we know are worthy of the effort to grow strong enough to honor them in our lives. These are the truths of kindness, compassion, the right of each individual being to be spiritually free and loved and more. The yellow tiger mother sounds her roaring note within you. She is fierce, protecting tigress, and yellow is her golden strength and wisdom. She urges you to listen for her sound within and trust yourself. You know where you need to stand your ground and not be swayed. You are more powerful and strong and courageous than you realize. Your strength is not stubbornness or resistance. It is holding firm to what you feel in your heart to be true and in time will come to realize the wisdom of your courage. Your strength at this time is needed, like the protective shield providing nurturing to a young plant. Your strength and refusal, refusal to be dissuaded from your truths helps your dreams and higher path continue to manifest. Allow yourself to hear the yellow tiger mother as she gifts you with power, strength, and knowing. Be brave and stay true to yourself, beloved. Ah. Oh. If you cannot do this exercise physically, then you may like to visualize doing it, doing the exercise instead. Ready, guys? Okay. Stand with your feet on the floor firmly grounded. Rock lightly on your feet, feeling all four corners of your feet connect to the floor, and then bounce around a little without lifting your feet fully off the ground. Really feel your connection and weight to the ground through your feet. Place your right hand on your solar plexus, just below your rib cage, and your left hand on your upper chest and say aloud, I am a courageous being of light. I am in line with the universal forces of truth and is my powerful ally. I do not need to force or defend. I simply remain steadfast in my own truth now and always, through my force of free will, I hear the sound of the yellow tiger mother, Quan Yin, within my being emerging now. And if you want to give a roar, do it. Stick out your tongue and feel your power within. The more you, the more, more power to you, beloved. And then a prayer. Quan Yin. Beloved Tiger Mother, I need courage and strength now to be true to myself and allow my own light to take root and grow. Nurture me with your strength of spirit so that I may realize that I have your strength within me too. It is my strength, my courageous heart. Help me, beloved, now to realize my, cour my courage and have peace within my heart. I feel the roar of your courage and strength within me, and I realize that this is my own courage too. Thank you for helping me realize this, beloved Tigress. Om Mani Padme Hum. Wow. Strong, strong messages today. And look at that. 
have courage. Have courage, the courage is within you, you see the truth, right? This is all about setting the boundaries around your unique self. That's what it is. Uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for remembering to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And thanks for coming back and seeing us again next time.